If you did not see the aurora last night, well, first of all, here it is, at least from my uh, place in St. Louis, Missouri, in the USA. And uh, But if you can, go out and see it tonight. There's a chance that you can see it. And if, if you're seeing this video far after the fact, then, you know, sorry, your chance passed here. But if you can ever see the aurora, it's amazing. I never thought I would see it in St. Louis from, like, where I live because it's normally way further north, but uh, I've been following space weather for a long time now, and uh, I, I noticed that there was a lot of buzz in the community about a G4 forecast, which is like saying there's a lot of solar activity from the solar flares, some of them that we started seeing sunspots, and um, so I, I hopped onto the NOAA's forecast for the aurora, I looked on Space Ham, uh, I saw that it was, the southern extent was just into Missouri, where I live, and so I got my cameras, I got everything ready. Before, before it was nightfall, I put a GoPro out. Now, I'll tell you something I didn't do earlier that I should have, but uh, I also covered up the light post in front of our house so that there would be less light, uh, because the more light, the harder it is to see things in the sky. Um, but this, I'll just, I'll just let you listen. You can see it. That is awesome. I gotta get the kids out here. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. So it was it was already getting to be visible right after sunset, uh, right after dusk when the sun was over the horizon. And um, I'm, I muted part of this and just let the background noise come in because I did have the kids come outside and we don't have them on social media or anything. Look at that. I don't know, I, I just wanted to share this because it was so amazing to see it this far south in the U.S. I never thought I'd see a, any northern lights, but it like came here because the, the geomagnetic storm was so big and it produced those beautiful like kind of purplish, reddish, greenish, and even some white uh, kind of a, a pattern of light that you don't really see in any other situation. And uh, if I would hold the camera still for a while, you could actually see some of the, the patterns of the light changing. And I'll, I'll actually speed up some footage. And once the footage speeds up a little bit, you'll kind of see the patterns here. And that's the magnetic flux in the sky interacting with our atmosphere. Gigajoules of energy coming into the sky and being dissipated. And uh, it was also cool because because of the exposure, you could actually see the moon's details through the aurora. But it was just, it was crazy. I, uh, you can't really describe it, especially like this part where if you look way up, you can kind of see the, you can see the rays originating somewhere way up in the sky and coming down at you. I don't know. I. I have, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a Catholic, you know, I have, I have faith. It, it's one of those moments where you feel the existence of the universe outside of yourself in a very strong way. Whether or not you have faith, you can have that same kind of feeling, but uh, it's, it's a feeling of being Green not, over there. I don't know, sometimes feeling alone, but also feeling not alone. Like there's, there's a universe outside of here, outside, outside of earth. And uh, we lose that sometimes, especially living in the city with all the light pollution. But uh, it was pretty short-lived, the full aurora. Let's see if there's anything back here. Oh, there's still a little bit of red back there. But yeah, this is, this is just my raw reaction to seeing this footage. I just put it on a timeline, and uh, it's, it was crazy. And there were a couple moments after the main show that was on right after dusk, um, like this is, you can kind of make out some of the waves in the sky. I think if you're in a darker place, you'd see a little more, but, you know, I was in the middle of the, see if the outskirts of the city of St. Louis. At like midnight. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing right now. Well, it's not, uh, the aurora, but... At least my dad would be happy seeing the tower lit, lit up at night. 
It's a good thing all those lights work too. But uh, this was a couple of time lapses. Now, something that I should have done and I didn't do here is uh, set my GoPro into night lapse mode instead of regular time lapse. If you set it for night lapse, it takes long exposure pictures and it turns out a lot better. You'll see a little bit of the Aurora here, but it's just, it would have been so much better if I had night lapse turned on. And here it is with night lapse turned on. You can see that the quality of the sky is a little sharper. Um, so I'm gonna do it again tonight. I don't think we'll get anything in St. Louis tonight, but you never know. And this time I'll set my GoPro in the correct setting. Another thing, some people were asking me on Twitter like how I took these pictures that I have. Um, I, I have a Sony a7C2 and a GoPro Hero 10 are the two cameras I used. And neither is probably the perfect thing. Um, and uh, you know, it'd be better to have like an f2.8 lens. I have an f4 lens for mine. But if you have an iPhone or if you have a newer Android phone, most of them do actually a better job than most basic DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. So pull out your iPhone, try to hold it as still as possible or put it on a tripod or against something and you'll get pictures like these, which in some ways show it a little more clearly than I think uh, more expensive cameras do. Uh, but anyway, and now that's it for another video. I hope to talk to you again very soon.